Hoping I'm on the Wi-Fi. Uh, morning, guys. I told you I was going to make a... My brother and I, we're going to make a video today about making the womlet. My brother likes to make. And, uh... So, I mean, like, without further ado, I guess we're going to get started. Um, let me switch over. We got, like, zero watching, so... Anyway, so this is my brother, John. And, uh... He likes to cook. He's a pretty darn good cook. Well, I hope this doesn't, uh... Are we live again? Yeah, I've got a striker. i get my cool rays on again. <laughs> I'm hoping this doesn't become the the way this thing runs here, but um, it's on me right now. Um, That's fine. You scratch my butt. Yeah, we're uh, 15 feet, 20 feet from the Wi-Fi, and it's acting up. There's my brother again. Like I said, we're at Grandma's crib, and uh, I guess any time a womlet. Yeah, we're going to explain what a womlet is, so you'll dig that. I'm seeing uh, Striker X's. What does that mean? How, how's it looking, Striker? Is it uh, pixelated or laggy or anything? You got two watching. Okay, go ahead and do your thing, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, for those of you that know me, I'm... Uh in the process of trying to lose another I got 15 more pounds to go so that I can get some uh, new knees because I'm an old carpet installer and my knees are broke and uh, but anyways a while back I started making these because while everybody else was sitting around eating waffles I didn't have that uh, liberty of eating waffles so I made I made uh, a very low carb alternative and uh, anyways, but we all remember one of these things that's been sitting around mom's and grandma's houses for years and years and years. And that's the old uh, General Electric waffle iron that I think mom has had since I was just a little kid. But <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and plug this critter in because it takes a few minutes for it to warm up. And I'm going to crank her up onto high. And we'll get a little orange light here pretty quick. But... Uh, as far as uh, an actual womlet goes, you can put whatever you wish into a womlet because, uh, I need a garbage bowl. Anyways, womlets uh, are pretty much whatever you want them to be. Um, I've made them a lot of different styles, lots of different vegetables and stuff like that. And uh, anyways, but today we're just going to keep her kind of simple. Going to have some peppers in it and a little bit of onion. Uh, I got some uh, basil for flavoring and uh, so on. But uh, like I say, we're just keeping this simple and uh, making it happen. But, uh, you know, if you want to get creative, um, get yourself some... Mexican seasonings and so on and so forth or Tex-Mex whatever you choose and uh, then we, you can make uh, Mexican style omelets maybe crush up some tortilla chips in there if you're not watching your carbs eat what you wish but anyways while everyone was eating waffles and I wasn't I said hey I'm gonna figure this out so, anyways, our basic ingredients here, I'm just chopping up some, some peppers for now. I'm going to throw a little onion in it. And, uh, sorry, I'm not as fast as some of the uh, TV chefs that you see, but we get the job done. And uh, we're going to have a little onion. You know what else? I need a little plate here to put all this stuff on. Because it's all eventually going to end up in that bowl right there. But for the time being, let's uh, get everything on this plate and make it happen. There we go. And I'm probably only going to use uh, a half an onion. Normally, probably we have a lot of truck drivers watching this video right now, right? I don't know. I don't think. Well, truck drivers could do this with a, an electric uh, waffle maker in their trucks, and you can use dehydrated onions, uh, you know, out of the can. And uh, I use that in a lot of cooking because dehydrated onions have a considerable amount of flavor. 
and uh, but we're just kind of rough chopping here and uh, anyways and we're going to use some uh, some smoked sausage here in a minute and for those of you that know me I don't eat pork so this will be a beef sausage and we're probably going to put a little bit of some dehydrated basil in this or some dry basil out of a can I'm trying to keep this trucker friendly so that uh, this is all stuff you can keep in your truck lightweight and you don't tip the scales you guys know where I'm talking about mm -hmm. You can say something too, you know. Yeah, I know. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> the, I'm reading uh, some of the stuff that's coming up. Why the sad face, LPS Gamer? Having a fat guy cooking low carb food. Whoa. What's well, that? the trucking. There you go. That's better. Oh, that's Striker. Striker X. Glad you're here today, Striker. Who's that guy? That's my brother, John. He is a incredible cook. He tries hard. Yes. <clears throat> but anyways, <clears throat> today we have some Mexican blend cheese. Uh, LPS Gamer says, hi, John. Hi. How you doing? And we're also going to use some of these. Look at these big beauties. These came from my uh, sister sister's farm they have a small farm those are free range uh yes organic eggs they uh my sister moves boards and bricks and stuff around and uh chickens race in underneath the boards and grab the bugs and stuff so those are yeah those are uh they scavenge for their own food but if you don't have access to free range big jumbo beauties like this Eggs are eggs, and use what you want. And uh, anyways, so now, typical scary looking thing here. We're gonna mutilate these things. Now my own personal self, I don't like to scramble my eggs to the point that there's nothing but yellow. I like to see a little bit of whites. And uh, that's just my own personal preference. But, like I say, what's that? I went the wrong way. Oh, like I say though, I'm uh, I'm kind of funny about the things I cook, and uh, we're gonna use a little black pepper. Personally, I like fresh ground, and I don't see why truckers can't have fresh ground. I have fresh ground in, uh, yeah, you in betcha. my truck. These Just things this. here, man, you buy these and you grind you, and I'll tell you the flavor of fresh ground pepper is so much better than uh, the stuff in the can that's been swept up off the floor of the pepper factory yes. so anyways so far we got our meat chopped up some peppers onions and uh and a little pepper skin in there we want to get rid of that or onion skin and this is all going to go into the bowl here in just a second oh shoot. oh wait a minute i forgot i didn't even there. notice i thought you were going to scramble everything in there no. but <laughs> so I was thinking, wow, that's no. some big pieces in there. But. Yeah, about three eggs is about all you need. I mean, and a, a waffle iron takes up a lot. Now, that's just our basic basil. <clears throat> and uh, one thing I like to use that I found out works well, and even though this has got some high carbs, it's uh, you need it to kind of hold, kind of, whoops, not that much. You need it as a little bit of a... Now, how much would that have been? Because we're not really... About two it. tablespoons. Two tablespoons. About normally, yeah. That's Normal. a little bit... But we're just going to whip it in there. And, and it kind of thickens things up. Now, everything else, the um, the onions, I guess you just mix everything to taste. Huh? Pretty much. So yeah. if you put as much meat in there as you want. The onions, it seemed like that'd be something I would want to measure because I'm a... You're a measuring I'm a measurer. sort of guy. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a measuring sort of guy. I eyeball, um, which goes along the lines of what I've always heard is that uh, cooks cook and chefs create. Ah. Sorry. Well, so I like to create my uh, 
my foods. Now we're going to put all of this stuff in here. And hopefully that bowl's big enough. If not, we can find another one. And just kind of fold this in real quick so that we don't whip those eggs too much. That's my personal thing, though. You like your eggs whipped? Whip them. Do what you got to do. Now, we're just about got a warmed up uh, waffle iron here. Still kind of going a little slow. But it's a really old waffle iron, so you got to expect that. Um, cheese wise, I don't like to go real crazy with the cheese, but I like a good portion. Uh, maybe, what do you want to call it, half a cup? Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. About a half a cup. And uh, you want to uh, get the uh, waffle iron going here in just a second. Let me fold yeah. this in. I want to turn this waffle iron. Well, not yet. I'm getting to that point. Here. Yeah, no, but I want it to. Not, uh, ouch, boy, is that hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hot waffle iron. It's I guess. a very hot waffle iron. That's why the red light's on it. Yes. So we're mixing. Hopefully the... Whoops. Hopefully the bowl will handle <laughs> it all. What all Maybe is in that try. breakfast that looks good? There is peppers. There was a red pepper and a orange pepper. Onions. Uh... Now that sausage is what? Beef? It's uh, Eckrich beef smoked sausage. Okay. Because I don't eat pork. Uh, so, and I know when you are when you enjoy cooking breakfast and you don't eat pork, it then makes things a little more difficult. So that is our mixture to this point. I'm going to show my, my mug. Your mug. While we're here. Yeah. Um, anyways. I'm thinking maybe put another egg in that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty thick. It's not going to pour real easily. Let me hang on. Keep on that. I'm gonna... Oh, okay. <coughs> maybe we got... Uh, maybe what? sister put a small egg in here. I don't think I... Oh, no. These are all big jumbo beauties. Yeah. Look at them beauties, man. Oh, well. That's the way it goes. We do what we gotta. Plus, this will get me back to my egg white status that I like so much. I like to have the whites in there. Holy lightning! I don't understand what's going on here, but anyways, uh, lost your first. Second. Yeah, I'm running off the Wi-Fi, so I thought we wouldn't have any problems, but you know, here we go. Yeah. But anyways. Uh, Okay. We'll get back over to this. You haven't missed anything. He just stirred the... Stirred another egg in. Stirred another all. egg in a little bit. And, uh, now we got a bowl about ready to blow, but it's... Uh, <laughs> it's getting there. It'll do. So, anyways, looks like the light is off on the old uh, waffle iron here. That's a General Electric. I've got, a, I got one of those. That's the one that our family used for... Oh, Lord. Years and years. This thing is... Uh, We've had that since I was a kid. I think it's probably older than all of the grandkids that my mother has. So. Oh, for sure on that. Yeah. Oop, hold on a second. Where's, uh, shoot. Oh, okay, you got it. Never mind. I was going to say I had a rag there. Okay, so anyways, this woo! needs a little bit of whoo, yeah. Smokey, baby. it's got 40 years of love on that thing. <laughs> um, this needs a little bit of prep work, or we will have a... A stuck down mess of. That'd be cool if it burst into flames. No, no, a, I don't think so. <laughs> it'd make a good. Uh, so, anyways, a little bit of Pam. We try to avoid the uh, no oil, but we got it anyway. Sticking if we can. Yep. All right. Here we go. Where's the magic, guys? Let's hope this all fits. Oh, I should have. Oh, yeah, this will be fine. Move it around as you need to. Yeah, this will be good. Might get a little oozage, a little bit of egg oozing out the sides. Now, it smells like smoke. It smells like heaven. Yeah, it will in a minute. Yes, but anyways, I like to let it sit for just a second or two uh -huh. and let it cook at first. And don't worry about some of these little vegetables that are chunking around. They'll help to hold the, uh, the egg in. 
I've seen that before. What's that? Yeah. Something similar. <laughs> yeah, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but... No, it will be. It will be in a matter of moments. Yeah, we'll let her go just another second or two. You know, there's no reason why, you know, truck drivers can uh, run across to a garage sale or something. And you, that's where I got mine. I have one that I had in my other house, and... Uh, this is mom's though, and uh, anyways, I got one identical to it that I picked up at a garage sale for five bucks. Yeah, that's what I got. I got one on eBay for uh, some guy had it on there. I, I forget what it was. It was they were going for about a hundred and fifty bucks, and uh, whew, and I got mine for twenty bucks because the guy was doing construction on his house and it had drywall dust on it where he'd been sanding drywall. And uh, nobody was buying the thing, so I looked at the background. I always look at the background in the pictures on eBay, and uh, I, th I thought, this guy's doing construction on his house, and then common sense, it's like... Yeah. We're still getting some oozage here. Yeah, it's, uh, all right, it's not an exact science. No, it's not. It's something you got to work at. Yeah, but, but I looked in the background, I knew the guy was doing construction, so I thought, that's just drywall dust. dust yeah. So I bought it, and man, it was <coughs> like brand new, man. It was better than a lot of the other ones I was seeing. All right, so right now I'm going to set the timer for about four minutes. And now, if you just kind of keep Do an eye on it the... and just hold up on it a little bit, hold up on your waffle iron. Yeah, it's going to be. cuts back on the oozage. Blowing some juice out the back. Yeah, there. blowing juice out the front already. How old is my camera? It's my phone. It's, uh, it's an S6, but I got it brand new about a, a year ago. They were getting rid of them, and uh, my other one was. So far, we're not dripping oh, bad. Yeah. We're not dripping bad at all. We like that. You know, trucker friendly omelet. Well, that's got love on it. That's not pretty. No. That's going to turn out pretty good. Right. As long as she comes unstuck. Easily, we're in real good shape. That's going to be the the challenge. Yeah, it usually is. See ya, LPS gamer. Oh, he's leaving, huh? Ah, uh, maybe. Well, you might not have the luxury in your sleeper of some of the things that we have in the house, but uh, well, sometimes you got to be creative in removing this thing. Yeah. Sometimes they come out easy, and sometimes they don't. Having a little bit of Pam yeah. is not a bad idea, or some type of spray. Yeah. So. Uh, well, I have all kinds of I, just about everything for cooking that I need. I got electric skillet and a mm -hmm. toaster oven and a. And the old truck already. I got an old uh, sandwich maker that you plug in, makes grilled cheesers, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what else I got. Look, uh, microwave. I don't know. I cook everything. I got a fridge with a freezer in there, so. That's not too, too much yeah, different than being at home. Much drippage at all. This is really cool. Yeah. I'm glad. I'll we'll switch that now. See if you can get a shot up around. See if we can get some oozage. Oh, it is kind of. You can see it growing in there. Oh, she's growing all right. I don't want to. Yeah, that's that's why it's uh, helpful to put those dehydrated potatoes in there to keep that all holding together. Oh, okay, so that gives it a. Um, gives it a little bit of. A stay power or whatever, yeah. or something to so yeah. it doesn't fall apart when you open the lid or whatever. So what do we got on the? Oh, we got about a minute and twenty. Here. One shot. All our goodies there. Oh, less than a minute. Be patient. We are. Grandma's crib, she's gonna do a walk through and say hey or do you <laughs> don't have to. It's a little hot here today. It's oh look at that thing puffing up good. Yeah, it is. yeah she's puffing up real good. See it opens opens right up. 
Now, you know, when I put a topping on this, um, being that I'm trying to watch the carbs right now, um, you know, you could put, I could put just a little bit of butter maybe or something like that, but I don't see why you can't. I mean, I've put syrup on them before. Yeah. You know, so I Oh, mean, it'd you, probably be good. Oh, it was real good. Or maybe even some jelly, you know, something sweet. Yeah. Because anytime you mix the sweet and the savory, there's always goodness. Yeah. Nothing but goodness comes from that. Yeah. Ten seconds, here we go. Ooh. Ten seconds. Jelly. Jelly would be good. Or um, mm -hmm. apple butter. Apple butter, that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I love putting apple butter on waffles. All right. And there goes Mr. Timer. Show's over. Let's see what happens here when we open the lid. Come oh, on, nothing baby. but goodness. See if it'll open good. Please, please, please. Oh, look oh. at that beauty. That is... <laughs> <laughs> the old yeah. life, of Brian. life of Brian Angel yeah. Clare. Now, it might seem a little bit stiff right now, but this is why we're going to attack this thing with the spatula at the same time the to help. Now, see that? It looks like a womlet, hence the name. Womlets. Now comes the fun part. And see, we've cleaned the the waffle maker at the same time so you can see that's oh. actually uh <laughs> ingredients, that ingredients are probably that got dark and dark. and that's that gang well let's uh that's a womlet everybody, give it a sampling everybody thinks that uh waffle makers are for making waffles and they are but you be creative and uh you can eat real good with one of these things the reality is it's 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 opened up it's a great big hot plate so um, get a fork out for big brother here oh we're gonna huh we're gonna do the eating thing the eating thing well the sampling let me uh let me get down here on it <coughs> let's uh do a little yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. That okay. couldn't have turned out more perfect for uh no, for gonna, shooting a video. Now what we're gonna do here in just a second, I'm gonna cut this in spirit, but let me switch over and we'll go to the selfie I, mode. Yeah, I left my um I have a, a selfie stick. Oh wrong way, wrong way, sorry man. I have stick and um, it's got a tripod on the bottom of it a small tripod and I was going to bring that so we could do some static shots but I've had oh, well. to hold this up the whole time so Is bon appetit or whatever we're whatever uh, you choose to say yeah I think it will get a little Texas Pete and throw on this one in a minute. yeah well All I right. want to try it just plain and then you can doctor it so anyway, anyways yeah. this is Womlets and uh whew, more and more and more mm, that's a little hot it's a little hot, but it's Whoa. a lot tasty. It's a lot hot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whew. Mm -hmm. good, uh, good stuff. Grandma in the back. She ran and hid real quick. Mm hmm Um, you put pepper in it. Did you put salt? No. Woo. Now, that's something I'm funny about. I mm -hmm. don't like putting salt on eggs. Mm hmm I like my eggs just to taste the eggs. Well, the um, little black pepper, no big deal. But salt, nah. I just soon eat the salt or eat the egg. I don't like. Well, if you're getting the organic, free range, real organic, free range from a farm, those eggs are a little bit salty anyway. They they are fine by themselves, even without pepper. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's a fantastic. Uh, except being so hot, I can't hardly eat it. This is <laughs> seriously good. Oh yeah. So. That's steaming. You take, oh man, let me spit all over the counter. You cook the eggs, what did you say, three eggs? You put four in this I one. I put four in this one, cause it, and then probably a good thing I did, because if it filled it up nicely. Yeah. Three would have been okay, but. Ingredients, you decide what you like. If you just want meat and cheese, well. Lost it again. Lost it for a second there, but the instant mashed potatoes, you put that in, it's kind of a binder, it holds everything together. Uh, onions if you want. He put some basil in there. Really, really nice combination. Super good. Uh, and I don't know. It's just fun. It's a different cheese. thing to make. And yep. yeah, the cheese. cheese. Well, we put Mexican style in there just because that was what probably on the top of the pile. There's <laughs> two or three different bags of cheese in there. And yeah. Uh, but anyways, hey, that's it. Womlets. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, uh, 
maybe sometime we'll do another one, another holiday or something, uh, cook something else. Oh, yeah. But anyways, uh, you guys have a great Memorial Day and uh, enjoy the weather today. Hopefully you can get to the beach or something. It's going to be like in the 90s here. So. Yeah. But anyways, uh, have a great one. and Nice meeting you all. Um, yeah, man. That's John. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see him again a lot more. So, all righty, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Oh, i got to hit this button over here. There you go. There we go. All right.